Over the past few days, we've been having an absolute blast out here hunting on the Mississippi Acres map for alligator, whitetail, and quail. But along the way, we've seen some giant wild hogs out here as well. So today, what well, my ultimate goal is to try and spot and stalk these giant boar and see if we can't get some. Oh, what do we got there? What do we got there? We just jumped up a bunch of whitetail. Oh, holy, that's a giant buck, guys. That is a massive whitetail out there. 211 to 200. Oh, my God, that's a giant buck. Doesn't even matter what the score estimate is. We know he's definitely a shooter. Wow. So we're heading over to try and find some wild hog here. And all of a sudden, I looked, and there was a bunch of whitetail running through these cotton fields here. And I saw just this massive rack, and sure enough, there he is right there, 250 yards away. Take a look at that buck. Wait a second. Wait a second, there's two of them. There's two giant bucks. Holy. All right, so there's our giant whitetail right there, guys. We got him. That was quite a difficult shot because we got to try and take a shot through this cotton field here and you can really only see kind of the top half of their body as they're running through here, but. There is the other big buck I was telling you guys about right there. Look at that, a beautiful whitetail feeding out there. He's about 430 yards away. He is a goal potential whitetail buck. Okay, so he's definitely not 400 yards. <laughs> he's actually about 250 yards out there. So we should be able to take the shot. What a beautiful buck. There's another really good buck right there as well, which I want to get a better look at him first. Um, I think this is going to be the biggest one. All right, here we go. Smoked him. And that buck there is going to take off as well. But is he going to get too far? Well, if it's just con, we should have went right through it. We should have went right through it. All right, guys, I found our big whitetail down here. I forgot he actually cut over a little bit sooner than what I really thought, but here he is. Let's have a look at him, and he's going to score 228.5. Made a nice lung and shoulder weight shot at about 200 yards. And then we got our other big whitetail down right over here. That was about a 250-yard shot. Here lays our great whitetail buck. It's going to be a 192.8 and pulled off a 277 yard right lung liver shot. A great shot right there. 277 yards. Now we took a shot at another buck as well, which I do believe we hit it, but I don't know how good we hit it. So let's see if we can't find some blood. I told you I thought we hit that buck. We got blood right here, guys. We definitely got blood and it's actually pretty good blood. Blood rate medium. So that means we probably got an intestine hit and we went right through that cotton field and hit this buck. All right, there he lays right over here. Let's go have a look at him. He was another solid buck as well. He might even be a little bit bigger than that last buck. So either way, he should be like a 190, something like that. A 183.8, and we got intestine. Um, I'm wondering if like that first shot might not have connected, but it looks like the second shot definitely did, because that's a 300-yard shot in the intestine, unless... He was quartering away so much that when we took the shot, we couldn't really tell what angle he was at because he was in that cotton field. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe he was actually quartering away quite a bit. And honestly, that was kind of going for a Texas heart shot. So I'm not going to complain too much about that shot at all. But a great buck as well. 183.8. So we got eyes on another whitetail buck here. He's another good one, but we're actually up in a tree stand right now because I decided to set one up here so we could overlook this whole cotton field. And what an incredible location this actually is. But we got that buck there. We got another couple of deer here as well. You can see they're very difficult to locate in this cotton field here. All you can really see is kind of their back or when they lift up their head, you can see their rack like right there. You literally couldn't see that unless he picks up his head and then you'll be able to see his rack. Plus, we got a doe right there as well. But now you can definitely see there's a good buck right there. And then I checked over here and there's a beautiful buck over here. Right there. 217 to 258. That is a giant buck. 
And he's about 280 yards. So let's see if we can't take the shot. Well, we can't really take it until he picks up his head. <laughs> and I'm about out of breath. There we... Really? All right, there we go. Perfect shot. We smoked him and he's down. That was a great buck. Oh, we got a boar out there as well, trotting through. Hard to see him though. Look at that. It's really difficult to see those things out there. All right, I think we're gonna take down this buck as well. That's another good buck that we saw on the east side of our tree stand here. He's quite a ways out there, but I think we could take the shot. Is he behind that tree? Yeah, he is. Yeah, I don't really know where we hit that thing, but it's uh, it definitely dropped him. Yeah, you know, this spot is so good. I want to show you guys the location that we're at here real quick, just so you can see where we're at. We're on the very north end of the map here by Needle Hollow. And this outpost right here, Puna East Mobile Home. Just go a little bit to the east, maybe 450 yards, and set up a tree stand right here. This is the way you can tell where you're at. You have two kind of rectangles here. One right here, like a big one, and one right here, a little smaller. And the stand we have set up right here, 100 yards over, and maybe 20 yards off the edge of this little line right here. And from here, you can literally see this entire field all the way down there. And not only that, I couldn't even imagine how good this location would work if you're doing any kind of like a push. You got hogs here, you got deer here, you got turkey, you got quail. I feel like they all would probably come right this direction and you could line up this whole field with tree stands here and just have a blast deer hunting. All right, so here's that buck that I think we probably hit right in the back of the neck. Oh, that is not good blood. That means we probably hit him in the brain. <laughs> Uh, so we got him right in the spinal cord. Oh, just a tad bit too high. Nonetheless, we definitely dropped him right on the spot though. So I'll definitely take that. And honestly, in real life, if I had a buck like that and I hit him right there, I would be super pumped because that's a great buck. And to drop him right on the spot like that, that is an awesome moment. Oh my God, there he is, there he is. There's our giant, there's our giant guys. I can't believe we finally found him. We went over here to try and find our buck that we just shot and I just located that giant boar that I've been looking for for quite a while now. And again, he's gone, which happens every single time. But here's what I am gonna do. I have a tripod. So we're gonna go over here and try and figure out where this boar's gonna run off to, which I just spotted him here. He was going this way, so he's probably gonna end up somewhere over here. In which case, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna set up a tripod right here, and when he comes back across, it's going to be game on. All right, here we go, guys. I just saw our boar. I don't think he's spooked. There. That's a little bit odd. They shouldn't be spooking. They're 150 yards out, maybe further. They should definitely not be spooking. Looks like some are spooking and some are not spooking. We got a big three right there. And our giant four is out there somewhere. Oh my God, there he is right there. A giant level four spotted male. And he's coming right towards us. Look at this. This is the ultimate setup right here. And what is that right there? That's a good level three as well. But check that out. A giant level four. He almost looks like the female because he's all spotted like that. That's him right there. I can tell it's him. He's a little bit darker than the rest of them. Oh man, here he comes. Here he comes. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to put out a couple calls and see if we can't get this giant boar to come into bow range. I'm pretty sure this is our hog caller, right? Yeah, it is. We got a decent wind and if he comes close enough, we can smoke him with a bow and then take down the rest of them with a 303. But he's not too far away. I see him right there. He's only about like 50 yards out, so he's kind of borderline in range. But these hogs are tough. You want to get them as close as possible before taking a shot with a bow. 
Especially if it's raining, because it's going to be very difficult to track this thing down. Oh, I found another good boar, guys. All of a sudden, I was sitting here waiting for the rain to stop, and I looked way up ahead. So, there's our buck laying there. First off, check this out. Our buck is literally surrounded by wild hogs right now. <laughs> that is quite the sight to see right there. Quite the sight indeed. But right there is a beautiful level 3 wild hog. A nice boar right out in the front. 75 yards out as well. So, that means we have three really good boar here. There's one there. One right in the middle there. And then we got uh, two more in the back over here, right over there. As a matter of fact, there is our massive wild hog. Oh my God, the rain finally stopped. I don't even know what to say. I'm so grateful at this point. But there's our giant boar. And is it really going to rain again? Really? It stopped for like 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And now it's going to pour rain again. I've been sitting here waiting for a half hour real time. And it finally stopped. 10 seconds later and it starts raining again. Okay guys, well unfortunately this rain does not look like it wants to stop. But we got a giant boar here. It's not actually the biggest one. But it's definitely a big one. And he's right out in the wide open here. And we're not going to pass up this opportunity. So we're going to draw back. Get on him. That's him right there. Well, we had a good shot. Come on, keep walking, keep walking. Oh, man. You see, the problem is they blend in with this cotton so good that you kind of got to wait until they step out into a pocket. And when they do that, then you can definitely get a shot opportunity. As you can see here, once they step out, they stand out. There's that three. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. There's our giant. He stepped out at 60 yards, guys. 60 yards out. We got to hold tight to that front shoulder when he picks up his head. He's walking. Definitely no shot. Oh, my God. He's actually coming closer. He is coming closer. He's coming. Oh, my God. They are going to come right past us. What is happening here? Holy, what is happening? Is that the giant? That might be our giant. No, it's not. Okay. I mean, it's it's a good one, but that's got to be our giant. That's our giant. That's our giant. He's 20 yards out. We smoked him. Holy, we smoked the crap out of him. And him as well. We just doubled up. Oh my God. Let's get the rest of them. Oh. Let's find that other big four. Where is he? Where is he? There's a sow. There's a sow. There he is. There he is. I found him. I found him. We got to make a good shot still. We can't make a bad shot here. We just smoked him, guys. We absolutely smoked him. Got another one right here running around. Where did it go? Where did it go? I feel like it's like right below. Oh, there it is. Smoked her. One shot. And she's tipping over right there. So even though that took a long time and the rain never did stop. It couldn't have worked out much better. <laughs> it really couldn't have. Because there... There's our giant level four, as well as that one right there. Actually, that might be a big level three, but still, right there is a perfect shot on a massive guaranteed gold wild boar. And I've wanted him for quite a while now, and I'm so glad to have him down. All right, guys, let's hop down and start picking some of these up. First off, we're going to grab our tripod here. Also, you got to remember 
to grab our doe. There's a female right lung shot there. Black spots. Okay, so let's grab, not our doe, our buck. Let's grab our buck. So here's our two hogs and our buck is over here. I want to grab our buck first before we get too far. Here's our buck that we shot before. He was a good one too, I believe. Oh no, he was a giant. I forgot about that. A 231.20, a double lung heart shot at 255 yards. Absolutely smoked that giant whitetail buck. And he's got such a sweet rack on him, man. I should probably get that mounted. That looks really, really cool. And yeah, we're getting him mounted. That is way too cool to not get mounted. I'll tell you that. Now let's get back over here and take a look at our two giant hogs that we took down out of the tripod. And I can't believe they came so close to our tripod stand. I cannot even believe it. We waited for so long to get a shot. We finally drew back and it actually walked out of the pocket so we couldn't see it anymore. And then the other, the bigger one actually stepped out. Okay, hold on. I don't want to try and, I'm trying not to lose these boar here. So if I get too distracted, that could happen. Here they are right here. But finally, the bigger one actually stepped out. We drew back and he started walking towards us and he gave us a perfect opportunity for a shot on that massive boar. And then this guy was kind of right there too. So I let one fly as fast as possible and we made an awesome shot on him as well. And we pulled off a double out of the tripod with a bow. That is what we just did. All right, so well, let's grab this one first. And that's gonna be a gold. That's the big level three, a 101.4 double lung at 19 yards out. Whew, what a perfect shot. That was our fastest shot that we took right there. It was kind of our follow-up shot, so I didn't know how perfect it would be, but that right there was a perfect shot and a beautiful wild hog down. And then this here is our biggest, a 119.10 gold, double lunged him at 17 yards out, and we barely missed the back of the heart there. What a perfect shot as well. 119.10 black gold, gold, wild hog, and we're definitely getting him mounted as well. But I think we picked it up already. Nope, there it is. We got both arrows. Heck yeah. So because we didn't hit the shoulder blade on either one of those boar, it didn't wreck our arrow. If we hit the shoulder, it would have wrecked the arrow. But we hit right behind the shoulder, made a perfect shot, and we got our arrow back. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got more. You know what? It doesn't really matter. We got the biggest ones down. I do believe we took down all of the boar, including this guy here. This was also another big old potential wild hog as well so here he is down right here and this actually is kind of one of the coolest ones it's a black spots and a 100 inch 12.6 gold black spots and a right lung shot at 123 yards out quartering away with a 303 absolutely smoked that beautiful boar and i want to get him mounted as well because this is a super rare occasion here to get this big of a black spots boar so yeah, I do believe this is our biggest one. And take a look at the tusks on that thing as well. I mean, look at that. What a beast of a boar. Wow. How nice of the rain to finally stop here. You know, it's very nice when the rain actually does stop and you can hunt in a nice, calmly, smoothly manner. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a blast. We took down some awesome animals from the tree stand. And then we took down some from a tripod. We took down some from the ground. We took down giant boar, giant whitetail. Man, what a just incredible hunt we had today. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.